Katie Play Stuff. Hey, it's Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. Welcome back to the Crooked Man. Okay, so in the last video we met D, a kind of grumpy character who used to go to this law school, and I guess he graduated from here, but he didn't pass his, like, big test, so he couldn't become a lawyer. So we met him, and the Crooked Man is at the law school. Somehow he got there, we're like miles and miles and miles away, and he's there. So I guess let's see what happens. Okay, this is where we left off in this room. We just spoke to D. The Julius Stone School newspaper is posted up. It's like a real picture. Okay. Julius Stone, low special school, week hot topics. A big hand for Michael. Oh, Michael! I'm trying to remember Michael. He... Michael... I'm gonna have to go watch the other video. <laughs> Today we can, must pay tribute to Michael Statham. Wrote a diserta, inserted an ad in scholarly book. Regal collection. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. His birthday is 619. So all of that I just read was for nothing. His birthday is 619, and I feel like that is a password for somebody's room. I don't remember now. 619. We gotta remember that. Okay, let's go back upstairs then and try out some of these rooms. Lefty... Huge. Oh, I don't think it's any of these. Okay, maybe this is one. Oh, six, one, nine. Yeah. I am so good. I am so good. It contained the key to the lecture rooms. So, I'm guessing that's downstairs but I haven't actually gone in any of those rooms yet, so I didn't even know that they were locked. Unlock the lecture room. What is in here? Got a scrap from a notebook. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up. To be told I'm a have-not. Lacking? I have not. It's true. There are haves and have nots. People whose dreams can come true. And. Ugh. Uh, again! Sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Okay, I need to prepare myself. I didn't save it. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Finally, it. <gasps> ah! He's choking me! Uh, uh! D damn monster! Why are you chasing me? These sound effects are really bad. Oh my god. Am I dead? Ugh. I'm not dead. Really? I... I'm alive? The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left? Damn it. My neck hurts, and I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. He Okay, he wants to rest somewhere after a monster just choked him out, and he passed out, and there's a monster roaming around this place, and he's like, oh, I'm just gonna go to bed now. There's a notice about a seminar. 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the impoverished and its prevention. Ivan whoever. Criminal behavior. A, psycholog <laughs> a psychological approach will be referenced, so be sure to read it before coming. Professor of Criminology, Franz Moore. 
I am walking so slow now. Ugh. So I guess we have to find a place to sleep, like, right now. Because he's walking really slow. There's another note. Last time we read a note, we got choked out. The rule matches these other pages. So he was here. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed. But I didn't receive the blessing. What's so bad about me? I was never picked by anyone. It never made sense. I loathed those days. He had a leaflet for the school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like Dee was? I guess this would imply he didn't become one. He's going so slow. And there's no beds. There's nothing in here. <sighs> okay, where is there a bed in this place? Oh, maybe the infirmary. Let's sleep. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. Ah, I feel a lot better. Alright, let's go. Was that really it? We just, like, walked all the way down here so we could take a nap, and now we're gonna go back upstairs, or wherever we were. Still, there's nothing in here. So... what do I do? Okay, so maybe we should try looking in the bookshelves. Because I remember there's supposed to be a password hidden in a book or something. Maybe. Criminal behavior, a psychological approach. That notice in the lecturer mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm? There's a slip of paper in here. What's the number? 99814. I got it. I just don't know what room it goes to. Huh, okay. Nine, nine, eight, one. It contained a key to the computer room. Okay, where's the computer room? Here we are. Unlock the computer room. I think this is the last room we haven't been in. The trash can is overflowing. Lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. Oh, gosh. Printed by Andrew Robinson, ID... One four four two four six. That's the password right there. One four four two four six. Okay, now I just gotta find out. Ahem. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. What? The laptop? But there's no power. But even as a valedictorian, there's something I cannot help but lament. It's about David Hoover. He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed, by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? 
I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he's done to grant his selfish dreams. What? Stop it. Stop! You're the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. <laughs> what is going on? I can't move. <sighs> Screw me out. Stop! No! I'm... I'm not a coward! I... I just... Huh? I heard a scream. That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry for the surprise. It's nothing. H hey, dude. You okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way, and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you. Leave me be. Drink it! Jeez! You really look like you need food and drink, and I'm being nice, so accept my kindness. Alright, thanks. But what's all this from the guy who's calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on. It's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Heh, <laughs> that's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful, at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? A man? Nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though, I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anybody be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you something, too? Professor Andrew. He always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a code so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something. But, yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? All right, got it. I'll wander around some more, then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you be careful, too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. I don't know if I like him or if I don't like him. Hmm. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. Got an energy drink. Awesome. Okay, so what's the number again? One... One four four two four six. One four four two four six. It looks like some sort of diary. Finally done with finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. That nickname, D, stands for Dreamer. Apparently it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. I hate how he fawns over me, too. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes in for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up his dreams soon and finds another path. This is about D? It's awful that he'd say this about a student. 
Though, maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor, and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. Wouldn't want D coming in and finding this. That's so sad. It's really depressing. Now what? Where is he going? That monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me? I'm gonna have to persuade Dee to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Where would he be, though? Where is this guy? Okay, the only place left is the basement. Right? I have a really bad feeling. The air feels kind of heavy. Just what is this? Um, can I stay out and then save my game? Good idea. Oh, I'm nervous. D. Hey, D. What's wrong? Get up. My head feel like crap. N now that you mention it, it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's gas. Huh? The floor's leaking gas. You gotta get out. Got it. D, get up and lean on my shoulder. Uh, it's here. Not gonna let us go? C crap The gas is pouring in! I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick! Oh god. Oh shit. Oh, I don't know. I'm literally just trying anything right now. Oh god. Leave the room, never mind. Okay, what? What did I do? Destroy with pipe. What was the point of that? Hold on, there's a little window up here, but there's no way I could fit there. What do I do? What did I do? There's a crack in the wall. The basement shelves are this way, right? If I tear down the wall, I can go in there. The fissure in the wall! I might be able to widen the crack with the hammer. Let's try it. Okay, at least I know that I have to go through the wall. Then we'll figure out what to do. We gotta figure this out. I don't think any of these bookshelves are gonna help me. The crow 
crowbar! Why am I so stupid? I have to use the crowbar on the elevator doors. Come on, come on. The doors won't open. Come on, crowbar! We can do this! Can I pry it open with the crowbar? Have to at least try. Come on, David. I'm in the elevator. I can go up through the door on the ceiling. Okay. Managed to escape. Hey, D, are you okay? I'll get you to the infirmary. Hang in there. D, are you sure you're okay? You don't want to go to a hospital? What if you got poisoned? <laughs> I'm fine. Head hurts like hell and I feel gross. But I'll get better. Thanks, dude. I'd be screwed without you. I owe you my life. There's a water storage in the basement, and I once heard about it leaking gas. Only just remembered that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the property, so the school moved and this got abandoned. I see. But you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. <sighs> Shut up. I just sort of forgot, okay? Man, to think all this had happened, when I just came here to relax, should have just stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure, just not in abandoned ruins, okay? That's really something, though. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated? Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So I kept studying, and I still do. And there's no change in my mind. I see. But you're awesome yourself. Climbing the elevator while carrying me? You're buffer than you look. Oh, well, I did go to flight school. Serious? That's awesome. Really can't judge a book by its cover, huh? But anyway, won't you get out of here already? It's all kinds of dangerous here, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here a little and go. You do that. I'll be going. Okay. Well, some crazy stuff just happened. Um, the crooked man got D in the basement, and the gas was leaking, and I broke down that wall, and I climbed up the elevator, and I am just, like, so awesome. Or David's awesome. No, I'm awesome. But, yeah, so I'm really excited. This seems to be getting pretty juicy. And hopefully we'll be leaving in the next episode, um, and we can go somewhere else. And the Crooked Man will probably be following us. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.